Hey guys, welcome to this video, which is going to be my review slash overview of Ahrefs. Now, Ahrefs is a very complicated tool with a lot of functionalities and so on. And it would be really hard for me to dive deep into each, you know, use of each tool and so on. So what I'm going to do is I have put together a really big review where I share how I use every tool uh, specifically and how to use it to, you know, get results and all that stuff. So in this video, so that it doesn't last an hour or more, I will be just going through the main features in Ahrefs and why they are there, how you can use them, like what is their main use. So let's just introduce Ahrefs first if you don't know what it is. Ahrefs used to historically be a link index. So this link index was a subscription tool that you were you know, paying every month for so that you could access uh, you know, a, ba a library of links for an unlimited number of domains. You could just put any domain in there and you could see all the links that were pointing to that website. And the use of that was for SEO people so that you could uh, find link opportunities, so you could uh, spy on your competitors and so on. Now, Ahrefs uh, used to be that for a long time, but the truth is it's really way more than that now. It's really like a whole inbound marketing uh, software and dashboard that you can use the same way you would be using something like Raven Tools or Moz or something like that. But you know, their branding really hasn't changed. Everyone sees them as that link index and that's it. So that review really is here to uh, change the status quo and show you guys that it can do so much more now with all the functionalities. Uh, in terms of price, there is really two versions that you might be considering. There is the light version at $79 a month, which is mostly this link index, uh, this, this traditional uh, version of it. And there's a $179 a month, which is uh, the overall inbound marketing dashboard with things like the position tracker, like the content alerts, the position explorer, all that stuff that uh, are pretty good if you are doing more than just SEO, content marketing, social media, all that stuff. Uh, well, you can do all that stuff with Ahrefs. So now let's just look into the software itself. Let's look into the different parts and what they are for and you know the overall uses of that. So uh, the first thing that you do when you log into Ahrefs is that now you enter your website. So you can see that I have two of our websites here. I have Health Ambition and I have the WW and the non-WW for Health Ambition because we've been doing some disavow lately. And when you enter your website, what happens is it asks you to enter the keywords you want to track because Ahrefs uh, now is a rank tracker. It actually allows you to track your rankings in Google and update it weekly or daily and show you the evolution. So here's the example for Authority Hacker, for example. You can see that, for example, this Amazon partner keyword, you can click on it, you can see that we rank numbers 23 for uh, desktop and 23 for mobile as well, and then you can see the history of the rankings. Uh, so it's pretty good, especially if you are working uh, for clients. If you want to just give them a report, you can actually export that as a CSV uh, or as an Excel file and just give that to your clients so that they can see the keywords you are working on and uh, the ranking evolution and all that stuff, which is uh, a pretty cool way to just track your performance in general. And one thing I really like about the rank tracker is that unlike many other rank trackers where you need to kind of know which keywords you're ranking for in order to track them, when you actually try to add keywords in Ahrefs, it actually retrieves all the keywords that you're ranking for. It does a pretty good job at it. You see it has 88 pages of about 20 results here. So I would be able to, you know, figure out what I'm ranking for and then start tracking these keywords, which is quite useful when you're ranking for a lot of long tail queries and so on. But Ahrefs is not just a rank tracker. The rank tracker is really just a tiny part of it. So if we go back to our um, dashboard, another interesting thing in terms of tracking your own website performance is the crawl data. And the crawl data is something I don't expect a lot of people are using right now. But it's actually quite useful and it's very comparable to something like the crawl data inside Webmasters tool, except that uh, it's a little bit more useful in some places. It's actually a little bit less useful in some other places. So for example, let's show an example of uh, when it's not as good as Webmasters tool. Uh, and so it's in the response code. So you can actually find the errors on your website, like the 404 pages, the broken links, that kind of stuff. It actually can show you these right here. But unlike Webmasters tool, it actually doesn't show you uh, which page links to these 
uh, pages, which is a problem. And so it shows me my broken links, but I have no idea which page I should go fix. Now, if we go on to the positive things in terms of that crawling data, the good thing is it actually uh, helps you like optimize your title tag and that's the page size and the word count, etc. So you can actually see how are you doing. So for example, if you want to re-optimize your title tags and you want to make sure that uh, you're not, you don't have duplicate titles, for example, or that you don't have too long titles, then you are able to just go and find all your titles here. Uh, look at the number of characters, which should be something like 55. So for example, this one is too long. This one is definitely too long. Uh, and so I could definitely go through all my title tags and uh, go fix them. You can actually filter them for uh, duplicate ones. So I can see that these actually have been used on several pages. Uh, you can find the duplicate non-grouped. You can find the places where there is no title tag, for example. Uh, and you can do the same with uh, meta description, with h1, h2, etc. Uh, and you will be able to kind of like fix all your metadata really quickly. So that's a pretty good function if you are trying to, you know, optimize your site on the fly, not spend a lot of time looking for the errors, but just fixing them on the fly. If you are logged on WordPress, you can actually fix a lot of stuff. Uh, really quickly. Now when it comes to tracking your own site, uh, the Site Explorer is also very useful. So if I go in the Site Explorer and actually let me just go in my dashboard and then click here and it's going to pull all the metrics for your own site. So you will be able to see, you know, how effective your marketing is. So for example, I like looking at the Ahrefs rank and the Ahrefs rank essentially is your position inside the index of Ahrefs, you know, like the number one is the most popular site on the internet, maybe facebook.com. And the last, the, maybe the one billionth one is the least popular website on the internet. And you can see your evolution in that ranking. So if it goes up, it means that overall you're progressing faster than most of the websites inside the Ahrefs index, which is a good sign. It means you are uh, progressing faster than the internet essentially, and you are going to do better over time. Uh, you can also see the number of uh, referring pages uh, going up or down so that you can actually keep an eye on your backlinks. And this is really going deep inside the historical functions of Ahrefs where it goes really, really deep in links. Uh, you can see your backlink types, you can see the new referring domains, you can see the organic traffic, which is a new function as well. Uh, it's a little bit comparable to SEMrush, except it's actually better. Uh, and you can actually see uh, the evolution of the organic traffic. Now the numbers are not necessarily the best. Uh, you can see your top content, but that's, you should probably know what your top content is. But overall, you can explore all these things for your own website and you can keep an eye if you're like hiring an outsourced marketing team or if you have an SEO company or if you want to benchmark your own marketing, then it's a good idea to actually check all these metrics. And that's the first use of Ahrefs is to actually know how well you're doing and benchmark yourself against the rest of the internet. Now, there is a lot more to Ahrefs uh, than just tracking your own website. Another really cool thing is to actually track your competitors and keep them in check and also inspire yourself from them. So probably my favorite way of using that is to use the position explorer and uh, inside the tutorial on authorityhacker.com slash ahrefs dash review, I have several uh, tutorials using that function. Uh, but let me just show you quickly. You can basically put any domain. So I'm going to put authorityhacker.com here. And what you can do is you have your organic traffic here, but you can actually find the top pages and you can find all the keywords they rank for in Google very quickly, very easily so that you can look at your competitors. You can look at what's working for them, what they get a lot of traffic for, what are the keywords, how to make money blogging in our case. Uh, and you can actually replicate that content and essentially get, uh, you know, the same kind of success. Now, uh, finding the content that works is, is great, but what I like to do is then once you found the content, then you're like, okay, I need the content. I know how to do that. Now I'm just going to try to find the links pointing to that content. And that's the historical part of Ahrefs. You will be able to go and check the backlinks that your competitors has uh, to that page and then try to replicate them. So in that case, you can see that we have quite a few backlinks to that page and that uh, helped us rank for these competitive keywords so that you can do that for any page on your competitor's site and then just click through and be like, okay, how do I get a link actually on the Ahrefs blog in that case, which is pretty funny. Uh, but like, yeah, I got a link there. Maybe if someone wanted to beat me, they would try to get a link on the Ahrefs blog as well and try to be featured on one of their guest posts, for example. So that's really another great way of using Ahrefs is to keep track of your competitor, keep them in check and so on. 
Now, another thing that you can use Ahrefs for, which I think is really cool, is to brainstorm uh, content, but based on social media. So like looking at the content that works best for them in search is a great way, but Ahrefs also allows you to search for content that does well on social media. And that's very, very close to a tool called Buzzsumo. It basically replaces it. And in that case, you know, I could do the same on our site, uh, authorityhacker.com, or you could type a keyword if you wanted. So I'd put that, but maybe I put uh, juicing because I know we are in this market and we sell a lot of ebooks in that market. So juicing. And then I am able to find the content that got, you know, thousands and thousands of shares uh, so that I can inspire myself from it and then I can just expand it and I can just uh, see the keywords it ranked for, it, I can see the backlinks it got, I can basically just reverse engineer everything so that I get a good idea of the kind of results I could get if I created the same kind of content and hopefully get as many shares or like close to that. So that's another way to brainstorm content and grow your website, organic presence by reverse engineering competitors, which is all uh, Ahrefs is about. And finally, another cool thing that I like about Ahrefs that's more of a minor feature is keeping your link profile clean. So you know that negative SEO is a thing these days. People send crappy links to your site so that they hope that you drop in rankings because you are competing with their main site because uh, you said something that they didn't like about their product or whatever it is and you need to regularly submit disavow files to Google. And so to do that, it's actually pretty tedious if you do it inside Webmaster's tool, you can do that, but you're gonna have to check a lot, a lot of links. Uh, Ahrefs actually does something pretty cool. And let me go back into my dashboard to show you how it works because we actually use that function. Uh, and it is this function, the ability to build your own disavow file inside Ahrefs and then just submit it to Google so that you can, uh, you know, clean up your link profile. And the beauty of Ahrefs is that actually it reflects the links you disavowed inside its index. So for example, you can see that on Health Ambition, we disavowed quite a few links. So normally there's 15,000 links, but with uh, in the disavow, there's 9,000 links that we disavow, and uh, you can actually see the stats with and without disavow. And if we go into the link profile, you will see that uh, there should be some grayed out links. So like uh, you could hide the disavow link, but if I don't hide them, then you will see that Ahrefs has actually grayed out all these links that we have disavowed because uh, they were usually the result of negative SEO or scrapers or just low quality links. So you are able to build that. And let me just show you exactly how it works, except I'm not gonna uh, do that, but I'm just gonna remove one of the links from disavow and re-add it. So for example, uh, this link has been disavowed, but like, I could put it back. And then when you have it as a normal link, you can just tick it, click disavow URL and click yes. And then that's it, this URL is disavowed. And if I click on my disavowed link, I am able to actually download the file and then just open it as a text file uh, and actually see all my disavowed links. And most importantly, I'm able to submit that disavow file to Google Webmasters tool and clean up my link profile. So that's a pretty cool option that Ahrefs has that allows you to also, you know, have relevant data despite the fact that you have been disavowing uh, stuff. And so that's, that's basically uh, the main features of Ahrefs. There's many, many, many more uses to it. Uh, but this video is already pretty long and I don't want to uh, retain you for an hour, as I said earlier, but you can export a CSV, you can find uh, the linked out domains, you can find the anchor text, you can find broken links, uh, referring IPs, anchor text. There is also a bunch of tools in the labs that where you can compare domains, uh, where you can install an SEO toolbar on your browser, where you can do batch analysis, where you can find uh, links that several of your competitors have, but you don't have so that you find more link opportunities. There's really a lot and I tried to cover most of it on authorityhacker.com slash Ahrefs dash review. So if you're on YouTube, I recommend you go check that out if you are interested. Otherwise, uh, this is a tool I actually warmly recommend to people. The truth is we only have two SEO tools for everything we do SEO and we literally do that full time all day, every day for 12 hours a day. So uh, the only two tools we have are Ahrefs and Bustrain. And Basically, Ahrefs covers our rank tracking, covers our content research, covers uh, link building opportunities, covers pretty much anything we need. Uh, and it's a tool that we recommend. We show a lot of the ways we use it more in detail on the reviews. So I recommend you go check that out. Otherwise, uh, feel free to take a month to try it out. It's a little bit expensive, but it replaces a lot of expensive tools. If you look at SEMrush, which is $69, uh, Buzzsumo, which is $99, 
and you know a Mars or Majestic SEO which is usually around $99 as well well Ahrefs replaces all of these and more and so if you actually add everything up it's cheaper so if you need all these tools uh, I recommend you pick Ahrefs instead if you uh, only need you know one of these functions then maybe try to check one of these other tools like uh, Buzzsumo or SEMrush or anything for us that's a perfect fit click on the link below if you want to check it out otherwise I'll see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.